Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will walk you through how to use Diffy AI, which is a powerful no-code platform that lets you build and deploy your own AI apps in minutes using LLMs like GPT. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end so that you don't miss any of the important steps. Now, if you don't have a Diffy account yet, you can use my affiliate link in the description. I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you and you might also get some rewards or discounts so without further delay let's get straight into it first of all you can either click on the link that is given in the description with the help of which you will be landed on defi.ai or you can also open your web browser and search for this particular url now once you are here on this page you will see the prompt that says build production ready agentic ai solutions so here you can see there are around 100000 github people and the user who are actually using it so creating your account here is quite simple simply click on the get started option in the top right hand corner of the screen you can sign up here with the help of your google account or your github account so you can choose any of these and log in into your account so here before we proceed to further uh, features provided by Diffy AI, let's briefly understand what is Diffy AI. So Diffy AI is an open source platform that lets you build AI applications using models like GPT-4 or Claude without needing to write the code. You can create chatbots, AI tools, automations, and even host your own LLM powered apps in a clean drag and drop interface it is perfect for marketers educators developers and startup founders who want to integrate ai into their workflow fast so here the dashboard overview is something like this in the all section you are going to see all of the apps that you have created so the options that you need to create an app like create from blank create from the template and import dls files next we have the workflow so here if you click on this option you will see the same options here so basically in the workflow you will see all of the projects you are currently working in in the chat flow you can basically just take a look at the chats that you have with the ai in the chatbot you will see the model of chatbot how you can basically customize it and how is it going to look then we have the agent and completion so these are further options which you can use to make your application stand out better so here if you go on the all option and click on this create from blank option you will be able to ask or uh, choose an application type so whether you want to make it workflow or whether you want to make it a chat flow so if you select workflow it is going to show you how is it going to look in the right hand section if you select chat flow it is going to show you the preview now provide your app name if you have any icon you can also provide that so here i'm going to provide the name of it if you have any description you can also provide it over here and click on the create option now it is going to take some time and show you further different options so this will look something like this here in the left hand section you will be see the application you are actually building or the project that you are creating over here here you will also see a bunch of different options like orchestrate api access logs and annotations and monitoring here you will also see the add nodes option adding note next we have the option of pointer mode hand mode exporting the images organizing the nodes maximizing the canvas so this is your canvas that will look something like this here if you click on the start option and click on this run step you will see test run start so click on the run start option select the uh, sys dot query input you can also upload any local files over here and paste the link and you can get started with it next you have the option of llm so if you click on llm you can provide the description over here here in the settings you will be able to see the model 
So click on the model option, configure the model. You can just search for the model and you can also click on this model provider setting and select the model from here. Next in the context, you can select the variable. So click on this option. Uh, you will see a bunch of different variables over here like for sys query this is for the string uh, the other one is for number sys dot files is for array so you can select any of these next we have the memories option so by default it is going to show you the built in memory so you can't change anything over here next we have the users option so since i have selected this particular file so it is showing you the users basically this particular section that we are currently using here we have the memory option so the window size is currently 10 so you can simply just disable it over here and change it next we have the windows size so you can just simply enable this option increase or decrease it based on your needs you can also turn the toggle button on right next to the vision and uh, here we have the output variables so click on the output variables option you can turn this toggle button on right next to the structure and here you will see the text string next we have the option of the uh, retry on the failure so here if you want to turn this toggle button on you can do that you can set the maximum retries like by default it is three times but you can select it for more you can select the retry intervals so by default it will be 1000 ms so i would recommend you to do not make any of the changes over here because these are defaults next we have the answer option and here you can also add any parallel node so if you click on the adding the parallel node you will see a bunch of different loads like you can add over here uh, since we have selected the llm one uh, you can also select another like uh, knowledge retrieval answer agent question classifier and logic if you want to add any uh, logic over here you can do that like if and else or uh, iteration or loop so you need to have some kind of uh, coding skills here in order to use all of these options although even uh, these are just drag and drop you just have to uh, just drag and drop it like this and it will come over here in this section so here we have a bunch of different nodes you can also just take a look at the tools so click on the tools option you can add audio, code interpreter, the current time, web scrapper tools. Uh, these are all the tools and plugins that you can add in your workflow and you can make it smoother. If you want to run this step, you can simply click on the option of run after selecting your module over here. Then uh, you can just take a look at the preview of this particular code. Now, if you want to just take a look at the preview of this particular chatbot you can just click on the preview option and it will look something like this here you can talk to the bot you can enter any of the questions here and press uh, enter here and it is going to respond based on the entries that you have made here in this chatbot once you are done with your editing simply click on the publish option in the top click on the publish update provide the LLM model and uh, you can run the application, embed it in your site, open in the explorer and even access the API references. So this is how um, you can use DeFi AI to build, customize and share your own AI apps without any coding. So if this video helped you out, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Also drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what kind of app you are planning to build and I will see you in the next one.